Okay. Uh, Morgan, Jen, how you doing? Uh, Tarot of uh, Big Gold Belt Media, how you doing today? Hi. Well, thank you. Oh, they just they threw me right in here. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, first question, ladies. Uh, for, again, four years of this project, uh, this is a lot, lot to focus on. I mean, I mean, I'm sure you had other things in between this as well. But uh, as I, I just asked Vanessa and Chloe, what, what was one of the things that you definitely wanted to make sure that you, you set a goal for within that four years that you wanted to have done in the show? Well, I was only involved in the last year because um, the music uh, happened at the, t towards the end of the process. So everything had already been shot. The episodes were locking. Um, but this is by far the longest I've ever been on a project before. Um, oh. And uh, I have to say it was real delight to be able to take that kind of time because usually with post schedules it's like very very fast yeah um so to really get to dig into these worlds and and create bespoke musical universes for them was pretty amazing um experience for myself jen uh so i shot the national geographic magazine story on spotted hyenas that's linked to the documentary so i actually unfortunately wasn't involved in the filmmaking process um shooting the magazine story took place over about six weeks in the field across about a year. So everybody had a, everybody had a different every part in here. Yeah. Uh, as, as far as like the magazine itself, I mean, I'm, I'm sure we just still get subscriptions of the magazine. I mean, the pictures are incredibly detailed um, as, as far as like, you know, what you what you shot. I'm, I'm sure you had like assignments of things that you but was there anything that really like stood out for you? Like when you when you shot out shot for the magazine? Um. Yeah, the the story is on spotted hyenas, and it's it's kind of the most intimate look into spotted hyena life we've ever had, photographically speaking. Um, I used infrared technology to be able to photograph the hyenas at night because they're nocturnal, and most of the photos that we see of hyenas were taken during the day. So I wanted to make sure to actually get into their nocturnal lives and and show something new. No, with with that, uh, I just asked about like the safety of that. Like, where how far were you away from these hyenas while taking those shots? Very close. I actually had a hyena come right up to me and steal my tripod from right yeah. underneath. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness, uh, Morgan. I mean, the you talked about the music. Um, you know, again, I was talking about the the emotion of the show because once you know they start giving. They start giving these uh, these animals names. You get a, you get emotionally attached, but the music really drives home some of the scenes in the show that are you know could be pretty brutal. Uh, what what was like kind of like, I guess your thought process of like how to match with some of these scenes as far as the music, like the tones you wanted to use. Um, well, I think each episode, Chloe and I tried to set out to find, um, I think the right tonal universe. So like what instruments. I like I would watch an episode and then kind of pull from the visuals and the storytelling to determine what the palette might be. Mm. Um, and then Chloe and I would kind of settle on a general idea of that. And then I would just be off to the races and start uh, start composing. Um, but what's amazing about this genre is that the editors work so closely with temp music. So I had a nice guide emotionally and, and the Google Sheets were <laughs> extensive. <laughs> so wow. like lots of really great notes to kind of giving me some general emotional guidance but I was really allowed to kind of have free reign with making it, frankly, a reflection of my own emotional experience watching the footage itself. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. Like I, said, like I said, everybody's got a different part, you know, with, with the show Queens, like whether you on the front lines or taking the risk or, you know, really dialing it up to, to get the emotion. Um, and so far. I'm risking emotionally. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so far the, the scene, I mean, I've, I've watched pretty much every episode, but the last, uh, so far the, the episode that's hit me the hardest so far was the hyena episode. And the the music about the, you know what happens with with the Cubs, I was just like, oh okay, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna turn this off for a second and come back because like it, it really yeah. it really hits you pretty hard. And I can only imagine Jen, you being out there photographing that, you know, see, seeing some of the stuff that happens and just you can't do anything but just be an innocent bystander to to, to some of those situations. So you can't really inter interfere with what they have going on, obviously. No, um, that's true. Um. What for for the both of you? Um, what was one of the I guess one of your favorite animals here in the kingdom, queendom to 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 photograph or compose to? 
Well, I only worked on hyenas, so for me, it was it was the hyenas. They're pretty okay. great. Um, I mean, I was so emotional at at some point within each episode. It's really hard, and you know, you have to imagine I spent a year with all the all these animals. So for me, I have a very different kind of emotional attachment to all of them because they're all so extraordinary, and the stories that are told are are extraordinary. So um, it's hard for me to pick. It's hard for me to pick a moment. Um, but I really do hope that uh, people are moved just as much as I've been, even prior to working on the project, just watching them dry. I, I just couldn't believe how emotional, you know, each episode was. All right, I guess I got, I got one more in me. Uh, over the course of both of your careers um, and working, you know, with National Geographic and various things, what, uh, you know, outside of, outside of this, what has been your favorite animal to uh, I guess, you know, photograph or like I said, compose, compose a show for? Uh, honestly, for me, this project with the Spotted Hyenas has been my okay. favorite so far. It really feels like the the pinnacle of my career so far. It's something I've been working toward for a solid 20 years, so. I'm to get that magazine now. <laughs> yeah, please do. Um, I wish I could answer you. I, 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 this is actually the first time I've ever worked on a uh, natural history or uh, well, natural documentary, excuse me. So um, this is, uh, it's a very first experience for me and I, I love it. Well, welcome to the team. I hope to see more. Th thank you thank both you. ladies. This has been incredible. I really uh, thank you for your questions. Thank you. Thank you so much.